In this video, a very good friend of mine, David Harbin, is on his first ever bow hunt. We're going to try to set him up on a group of does that are coming out of their bed area late in the evenings, headed down to a big open hardwood area. They'll be feeding on acorns all night long. And we're set up on the trail they use coming out of their bed, headed to feed. David and I got a lot in common. We're both military veterans. We both love the outdoors. He's deer hunted in the past, but he's never took up the bow and arrow. We haven't been sitting here too long, and the first doe starts feeding our direction. And I'm getting pretty excited right now, because I'm thinking he's going to get his first deer on his first ever bow hunt. That flick of the tail was a pretty good indicator that she doesn't really know what she got a whiff of and she's not convinced yet. There's still a chance. It's amazing sometimes how when a deer smells something or senses something's just not right, how they can lock up and just stand there. They don't really want to move. I mean, why would they? They're confused right now. David's just still watching the deer. She's throwing her nose up in the air. Later on, David told me that the reason he didn't move is because she was staring right at him. She's definitely smelling something, but she's fixed to settle down a little bit, still throwing her nose up. When she throws her nose up, she's looking dead his direction, but she really hasn't spotted David yet. He's not moving. He's being real still. Now, if he were to move, that would probably catch her eye at this point because she's on full alert. Ah, they say it ain't over till the fat lady sings, so there's still a chance. Will he make the shot? tell you just a little secret. She's smelling a scent that I put on the ground. It's a scent that I've used many years. It'll hold a deer, make them circle around, study it. Some I've never really had a deer spook on it, but for some reason it does have a tendency to make them slightly nervous. Now, this deer is dead under David's tree right now and I'm about to freak out. He's got to turn all the way around in his tree stand now because she's done got behind him. This was one heck of an experience for your bow, first, very, very first bow hunt. <laughs> Look at her zigzagging. She's going to go back. She is really not convinced of what that smell is. She hasn't smelled David. She's smelling the scent I put on the ground. It's called Indian Buck Lure, guys. One drop, two drops, tops. That's all it takes sometimes to hold a deer in a particular spot. This is a little scent test that I've done a few years back pine tree that you're looking at in the center of the screen is the tree I actually climbed to try to hunt this buck near his bed area. I've always had this sneaking suspicion that buck deer would come in after I left and smell around my area to see you know what I'm doing, check it out, study it. Well, 
I set this trail camera up to see if I could get evidence of that. And this is literally four days later after I hunted this tree, this buck comes in and he is smelling every single step that I took. Even up to the tree, you noticed he smelled the tree. And I do have Indian buck lure on my feet. I walked over here from that tree to the trail camera to set it up facing backwards and then left. So this deer is following my step for step all the way to the trail camera. Four days later, guys. It's another day and I'm back in the same spot. I've moved maybe 40 yards up in this thing closer to the bed area. And there's a doe come through that looked like she might be in heat and got this buck up, which he beds on the end of the knob. I've been after this sucker wanting to get a look at him. I didn't even know what he looked like. All I saw was his sign, his tracks and the rubs and all the active scrapes around the area was just blowing my mind and here he comes he got right to this little ditch where i crossed and i had a little bit of my scent on my boots he stopped to investigate that and i'm just hoping and praying he doesn't bust me at this point That, my friends, is a nice buck deer. When you see tines and beam lengths that long, it gets you really excited. My heart's about to explode out of my chest right now. And I tried drawing my bow back, and he throw that head up because he heard that noise, and I just froze at half draw. I don't want to get busted by this joker. He got his head up looking all around. As soon as he moves, I finished my draw. But I don't have a good shot angle, and he's moving too fast. My mind's going a million miles a minute trying to figure out where am I going to get a shot in this mess. Of course, he stops right behind the tree. In my mind, when he takes one inch step forward, I'm letting that arrow fly because I'm going to put it right in him. Perfect. Matt! Matt! I love with him there. I love it too. That G1, that's what it is, G1 that curves in at the top. That is, when I seen him coming through the woods, I knew that this was a big buck. There was no doubt about it whatsoever. I knew good and well this was a, was a, was a buck of a lifetime. I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm so nervous I can't even talk. Man, what a deal. Now this buck ain't no giant by any means, but it still shows a good example of how deer will smell this scent. I've used other scents in the past, and some of them work pretty well. I have actually used some scents that just absolutely spooked the crap out of deer, and I won't never use them again. But this Indian buck lure, it's called original Indian buck lure, it really does seem to hold their attention a lot longer. There was another scent years ago on the market called bow hunter setup, which you could really use on scrape activities and get deer keyed in, coming to a scrape a lot 
more often than they normally would and there's some other scents I'm trying right now on the market which I'm having fairly good success with called uh, Shadow Magic scents and uh, I promised a friend of mine that I'd do a review on these scents and the last year I've been using them pretty regular on almost all the hunts I go on and it doesn't really have the effect of deer tracking the scent like any butler but it seems to have a calming effect on the deer and uh, I'll be talking about that scent a little bit later let you guys uh, give it a try if you use scents properly they will work but be aware that it does put the deer on alert and it makes them very curious about what's going on around it with the scent because it's not natural to the deer woods. This little buck followed it all the way up to the base of my tree and then he got sidetracked, hit this log road and took off. Now this is the second buck that came through on the same trail that same day. Now obviously there's another deer that walked this trail so he's smelling two things. He's smelling the scent I put down and the deer that walked the trail. But if you notice, he's basically doing the same thing. He lifts his head up there. He knows the scent goes that direction, but he doesn't want to leave the scent trail itself. Even though he knew that scent is to his left as well. Now the deer got a little sidetracked there and got off the trail. Because he's supposed to go around that tree the same way that other buck did. Just like a dog, he's going to circle back around, find the scent, and get back on it. Now he's going to follow the trail right around that tree where I do my 90 degree and he's going to come right back to the base of my tree. Same way the other deer did. Now once they get to the base of my tree they're supposed to leave because I kind of scattered the scent around a little bit to really confuse them hoping that they wouldn't actually look up in the tree at me. Unfortunately this buck is a little bit more curious than the first buck and he's gonna hang around just a little bit longer. Get a little bit closer to the base of my tree. When they throw their head up in the air like that a lot of times they're trying to catch the molecules that are in the air like a dog here pay attention to how a dog works his nose they'll they'll run the trail but then they'll also you know zigzag back and forth with their nose up in the air trying to catch the scent direction and uh, deer are no different they pretty much use their nose about like a dog would I don't know what these deer think this scent is doesn't really matter to me. All I know is it does work. It gets their attention. It holds them in an area a lot longer than it normally would. But you're going to have to put this scent out in a place where deer are going to go anyway. This is not going to bring a deer from two ridges over to your stand. You can forget that. It's not happening. This is a close range scent lure is what I call it. It only works in close proximity. The longest distance I've ever seen a buck deer follow this scent was 50 yards. I did have a seven point years ago follow the scent, make three 90 degree turns which is very unusual, leave the area, come back an hour later and do the same exact thing, follow the trail again. That's how curious that deer was of that scent. Eventually this buck's gonna give way and head on out of there. He doesn't really know what the scent is and he's gonna give up on it. When he gets to the log road, he doesn't follow the other buck. He actually goes the opposite way, so not really sure what that's all about. Anyway, I believe the scent worked pretty good. Did its job. 
I, I don't want to spook these deer but this one little buck he's eventually going to get a little sniff of where I went up the tree now, I went up the tree on the opposite side of where this trail is because I did not want to get too close to the trail but you can tell right here as he's starting to go under he, he catches a scent of something I think he doesn't really know what it is but you see how he just got a little nervous and stepped off the trail he's kind of stomping his feet just a little bit harder as he steps that's not a strong scent that he picked up but it was enough of a scent to where he got nervous and stepped off the trail. This other buck hasn't really noticed yet. If he has, he's probably just ignoring this youngster, thinking, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. But you'll hear this buck, he'll stomp his foot a little bit more insistent. And now he's got the other deer's attention. both going to veer off. He's like, wait a minute, i got to get one more bite before I leave. I lay a little scent trail up there specifically to stop deer as they're going up that trail. Hopefully they'll catch that scent and follow that scent and give me a good shot opportunity. As you can see, she's walking along pretty steady and all of a sudden she catches that scent. Now she hasn't really even followed the scent yet, but she knows that scent's going back the direction where I'm at. Even though she hasn't really tra trailed me yet, she's already looking back that direction. Which I found pretty interesting. Now she's going to follow the scent. Curiosity's going to get the best of her. She's following the scent right through my shooting lane, right the way I want her to be standing when I make the shot should I take that shot and right here I do a 90 degree turn off the trail a lot of times deer will not make that 90 degree turn and continue following the scent unfortunately this deer is going to be real curious and do just exactly that. Now I know from past experience the way this deer is acting that she's probably gonna follow it all the way to the base of my tree. I really don't want that. I wish she would just give up and go on about her business. But as you can see, she's locked in on that scent. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and take this doe. She gives me a real good shot. I'm going to take it. She made me do it. These three does come through. I took this in here, put her down, put her down quick. 